Hi, welcome to this first video in the series on news vendor problems. I am Piyush. News vendor problems are a pattern of deciding how much to order or inventory management when the demand is dynamic but the pattern of demand is known. So for example, we would know that the demand is varying as per normal distribution with a specific mean and standard deviation. A specific feature here is that goods can be ordered only once in one period. So if we have ordered goods which are lesser than the demand, note here that demand is varying in every period. It's not a specific same demand. So if the goods that have been ordered are lesser than the demand, uh, the demand would be lost. You cannot fulfill this demand in the next period. But if the goods ordered are in excess of the demand, the goods would have to be scrapped. They are highly perishable. This is very similar to the case of a news vendor ordering newspapers every morning. If the quantity of newspapers ordered are less than the demand, some part of the demand would be lost. But if the newspapers are ordered are in excess of the demand, the excess newspapers would have to be scrapped. Let's look at a specific problem here. We have a product with cost price of $80 selling price of $150 and a salvage value of $60. So the marginal profit for us, that is the profit from selling one additional unit, this is also called cost of underage, is equal to the selling price minus the cost price. So by selling one additional unit, we would earn $70. And the marginal loss would be uh, also called the cost of overage would be the cost price minus the salvage value. So for every unsold goods, we would lose $20. For this problem, we will assume a discrete demand. The demand would vary between 20 to 24 units with um, these given probabilities. So what we have here is, for example, that there is a 15% chance that the demand would be 21 units. There is a 40% chance that the demand would be 23 units and so on. So since the demand is varying between 20 and 24, the supply or the inventory would also vary between 20 to 24. Our task is to decide the value of inventory which would maximize our total profit. Let's look at a few cases. When the demand is 20 and the supply is also 20, uh, we would sell 20 units and out of those 20 units, we would make 70 units per $70 per piece to make a total of $1,400. There are no unsold goods, so we would make a total profit of $1,400. Now, in the second case, um, the demand is 20, so and the supply is 21. So we would obviously only be able to sell 20, it's lesser. Um, so from the selling of 20, we would make $1,400. But from the one unsold uh, unit, we would lose $20. Uh, so the total profit would be $1,400 minus $20 to make it $1,380, $1,380. Let's look at a few more cases. Now here, we have a supply of 22 and a demand of 23. So since the supply is less, we would obviously sell 22. Please note, we are selling whatever is less out of supply or demand and we would have no unsold units. So the profit from sale would be 22 times 70, which is $1,540. And uh, since we don't have any unsold goods, we would have a total profit of $1,540. One more example to end this. Here we have a demand of 22 units and a supply of 24 units. So we would sell 22 since the demand is less. Uh, from selling 22, we would earn 1,540 units. And from scrapping of two, uh, we would lose $40. So the net profit would be 1,540, uh, which is $1,540 minus $40 to give us a net total profit of $1,500. So what we have here is the total profit is law, is the profit from sale minus the loss from excess stock. The profit from sale is the minimum of supply or demand multiplied by marginal profit. And the loss from excess is actually supply minus demand multiplied by marginal loss. 
but the loss from excess would only be valid if the supply is more than demand and that's why we create this specific formula so uh, maximum of zero or supply minus demand into marginal loss i'll repeat if the demand is more the supply minus demand would be a negative number and we would not have a loss we would only have a loss if the supply is more so supply minus demand here would be a positive number and the maximum would be that and the supply minus demand multiplied by marginal loss would give us the loss from excess so let me put the excel formula here so we get equal to the minimum of um, demand comma supply multiplied by the marginal profit minus the maximum of zero or supply minus demand multiplied by marginal loss which is twenty dollars so like we have demonstrated this is fourteen hundred dollars now let me go there and just fix up a few cells uh, i'm assuming you know the cell fixing uh, in excel so i'm fixing the marginal profit i'm fixing the uh, column um, the row here 7 and the column of b the idea here is to make the formula copyable so i would after doing this i would just merely copy the formula throughout my sheet so since I have here, I copy it, control C, um, select these cells here, uh, paste special and formulas. All right, so we would gain 1400 only. I copy all these formulas here and paste special um, the formulas. All right, so this gives me the values. Let's check. We said we would make 1500. $40 here which is same $1500 here so these gives us various values of profits or total profits would make in different supply and demand situations since we have the profit uh, probability values we would we can calculate the expected profit in various situations so uh, the expected profit here would be 1400 times 0 0.05, 1400 times 15, 1400 times this and so on. Instead of multiplying each of them separately, we can use sum product formula equal to sum product. Um, the cells here, comma, um, the probability values. So what the sum product does is it takes a summation of the products of the corresponding cell. So 1400 is multiplied by 0 0.05, 1400 is multiplied by 0 0.15 and so on and the values are added. So we would get an expected profit of $1400. Let me fix this up again here. I'll fix up the probability values. Um, $1400 um, and to get various values. Now, when we look here, it tells us that the maximum is $1,551.50. So, obviously, our best policy, our supply policy or the inventory policy is that we should order 23 units every period because that maximizes our expected profit and the expected maximum profit for us would be equal to 1551.50 dollars this is what is the news vendor problem in, in the future videos we'll see simpler methods to do this thank you for watching please write in um, to me at the given email address which is piyush a shah it's piyush a shah at gmail.com um, do like, comment and share the video if it helped you. Thank you.